I'm going to tell you some real shit about me. I don't fall out with my bros over bitches. And when I say over bitches, I, I don't mean trying to talk to bitches or fuck bitches or fucking with bitches. I mean fall out with my bros over shit that bitches say and do. Because see, bitches don't like peace. Bitches will see a peaceful situation and they will try to bring chaos, turmoil, dismay and disorder to a situation like that. Just because a bitch is in her feelings or mad at something or someone in particular, they'll try to create a wedge between you and that person. And see, let me tell you something. I don't got partners. I, I might address them as partners, but if I say partner like that, you really my partner. But I got bros, my nigga. I'm talking about we like real brothers. We ain't got the, we like we came out the same pussy even though we didn't cake ass nigga. And most of my bros, like niggas that I consider brothers, I've known for over 10 years. I got some I've known for over 10 years, some for over 20 years, some for over 30 years. But all of my bros I've known at least for 10 years except for one. And this nigga here is real real. I'm talking about we like this here and I know that nigga got my back and he know I got his back. But one thing about my bros, ain't nothing nobody can tell me about them because I know them. I'm a student of people and of human nature and I take in everything around me. I'm real coherent and real observant and I see motherfuckers ways. So when somebody tell me something about somebody, you know, I take it with a grain of salt because especially if it's somebody that I know and that I've spent a considerable amount of time around and I know this nigga personality and his characteristics and his traits and what type of a nigga he really is. So when you tell me something about one of my bros and it ain't in line of what I known them to be consistently, I don't I don't believe it and I'm not going to believe it. And I'm not going to judge them or look at them in a certain type of way of which you want me to see them in because that's how you feel about them. One of my bros can't even tell me something about another one of my bros. Say, my nigga, I don't want to hear it until that nigga show me personally. I ain't falling for it and I ain't going for it because I'm in the same return. I'm not going to let him come to me and tell me something about you because I know you and if you really got like somebody you consider a brother that's how you view shit too if you a real motherfucking man I'll tell you two instances one of my bros I hadn't I had seen his wife one time she was sitting in the car I'd never really seen her and so this is my bro so I ain't really looking at his wife to try to see how the fuck she looked so I seen her in the store one time, but I didn't know who she was. And so, you know, she was jazzy. And so I walked down the aisle and I spoke to her. She didn't respond. You know, I it was a flirty speak. She didn't respond. I kept it pushing. My bro called me a little bit late. He like, damn, my nigga, you tried to holler at my gal. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? And then he explained the situation. I'm like, damn, that was your gal? And he was like, yeah. And then I said, man, I ain't even know. And then he was like, shit, that's the exact same thing I told her. I say, ain't no way Smack knew you was my gal and he tried to holler at you. I ain't gonna lie. Till this day, that nigga gal really don't like me because she think I'm a hoe like a mother. <laughs> but in the same token, she ain't got to like me because I am a hoe, but I ain't trying to make my bro be no hoe or do no hoe shit. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, in her mind, whenever he come fuck with me, it's on some whole shit. <laughs> Man, it don't be. But uh, even though she feel that way about me, that's still my motherfucking bro. And if I see a nigga coming at her sideways, I'ma go up in that nigga motherfucking suck muscle, cake ass knuckle.